So today guys I bring you a few things you need to know about arms race before jumping in. How's it going guys my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So I know there are videos out there going off the basis of what we see within the trailers and what Gearbox have told us about the game but I've actually had over a week of playing experience with arms race and that's why today guys I believe I can bring you things I feel you need to know before jumping in. In. So the basics. This is a battle royale mode without the PvP. You are dropped into arms race without any gear or skill tree abilities. You are just a vault hunter. The aim is to loot, survive the murder cane, find legendaries, extract them and defeat a boss if you make it that far. Those are the basics of this mode. So what do you need to know? Well, all weapon types actually matter. I cannot stress this enough. Gearbox were not lying when they said players would look at every rarity of weapon like they never have before. Because guys, this is so true it's unreal. Every single weapon actually matters. Commons, uncommons, rares, epics and well if you're lucky, legendaries too. So once you land, it's best to find those gear chests and just loot away. Find yourself a shield and find yourself a decent weapon. Also to note, weapon chests don't appear on the map but are super important for progress so keep an eye out for them. Also, although you can, the mode isn't about running straight to the boss as there's more to this mode than just that. And while like I said you can indeed land, loot a weapon crate and jump straight into that boss fight if you want to, but there are much better odds of you coming out of this with new gear if you actually use the map to find said loot sources. And well onto that point, the map showcases everything. From where the boss fight is, to supply drops, to loot caches, to extraction points. Use this map as a guide it is. Use it with a murder cane time to see what loot you can reach while still having time to, if you plan to, take on that boss. There is under my testings a much higher chance of legendaries from loot caches which like I said can be found all over the map. Loot caches do however come at the cost of time where you will see yourself having to take on waves of enemies. But it's worth it as once you achieve completion here you get access to two red chests which drop those new legendaries also. New legendaries can drop from enemies too, not just from loot caches or the main boss of this um, arms race mode. So if you see an enemy which seems like a beast, well the higher the health the more chance they have of dropping that new stuff. So take your time to take them out if you do have that time. Okay so if you're playing solo this is a useful tip. You can use your inventory button to basically pause the game. Check out your surroundings, check out the map and plan your next route. As like I said it pauses the game and this is a very useful tip indeed. Another note extraction points so like I mentioned appear on the map but almost are always guarded by enemies which you have to take out before using them because depositing loot into the extraction points does not pause the game like it does when you're in your inventory if you're playing solo so you will have to take those enemies out first. Also a very important matter, extractors have limited numbers of use so do not think you can run around the loot numerous loot caches and supply drops and then extract all your findings at one extraction point because that is not happening. Besides the boss extraction point, I believe you are limited to a max of 3 per extraction point machine, so use them wisely. Also, if you find a new legendary, you can't actually use it within arms race. The plan here is to extract it to use it, but if you die with a new legendary within your inventory, and you are playing solo or in a team and don't get revived and the whole team goes down, say goodbye to that loot as it's gone for good. You can also by the way find old legendaries within arms race which you can use within this arms race mode. It's just a new legendaries exclusive to this mode and which you cannot use here. Okay so the boss fight. Here it makes sense to go into this fight with a shock and corrosive weapon at least as the boss in heavyweight Harker does have a health bar, a armor bar and a shield bar. And while to make it a lot easier on yourself try looting said weapons which offer said elements which go great against said armor and shield bars. And well to end the video guys, the murder cane while running around is utter deadly. But once you're in that boss fight it doesn't actually affect you in a way where it slowly kills you. So this indeed can be used as an escape route from the murder cane. While I say escape route you still have to defeat that boss to extract any remaining legendaries you might have on you. And there we have it guys, 10 plus things I think you need to know before playing arms race. 
And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more BR3, be, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you on that next one.